Tech Up Dave is in the studio. Hello, sir. Hello. You've had a little bit of time off. It's great to see you back. Thank you. Um, your, your shirt today, for those who are uh, listening on the radio, is uh, what, what's going on with the shirt? I'm today? not really sure to be entirely. I, I, I'm, Would you I'm like not to describe it? It's sort of it's sort of palm trees and bubbles and psychedelic colours. So yes. yeah, yeah, it's definitely it's crazy. It's Thank crazy. You. You're never going to run out of uh, of, of uh, bad shirts. Sorry, colourful shirts. And and actually, I'm very grateful to you because yes. I'm going to my friend Tom Edgington, aka Edgy. Or the Edgemeister General. It's his 40th birthday yes. uh, celebration next week, and there's a Hawaiian theme. Indeed, which and is why you need to put this on just to check that it fits. I think I do. I, I'm not sure I'm actually going to put it on because we're going to do some quite serious calls in a minute. We could just put but it round while I'll we put do it, this. I'll put, it, I'll put it round. So I've got this yes. Hawaiian shirt that Dave has very kindly uh, given me. If you're watching on Talk TV, you'll see that he's finally got me in one of his shirts, and it's a sort of orange number with uh, very. Yeah, I think it. I think it's it fits beautiful. all right. I think it fits all right. It's well, beautiful. No, 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 leave it on. For leave, the time it on leave it on for the segment. But, Talking I mean, of 40th birthday. Yes, you're uh, 40. Are you? It's your 40th. Birthday yes. later in the year. And you're, we're, we're off to go and see your mate Chesney Hawks. That's Hawk. right, Chesney Hawks. We're going to the Chesney Hawks concert. He's um, on Michael McIntyre tonight. Is he really? Yeah. Okay. Unexpected star, star of the show. Oh, God, I like mm -hmm. it. I sort of have this um, shirt on almost like a sort of mafia dawn, you know, sort of, yes. uh, I don't know, some sort Beautiful. of Hawaiian mafia dawn. Um, <laughs> Um, someone's written and say uh, we're 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 giving them a, uh, we're giving them a headache with both our shirts. Well, I think it's um, beautiful. Listen, if you're listening to Talk Radio, count yourself lucky. Um, I want to talk uh, about Sophie in a minute, but uh, who's one of our our uh, very dedicated viewers who's done an amazing thing. But first of all, it's time for Cat of the Week. It's Cardi B's Cat of the Week. Dave, who is the cat of the week this week? Cat of the week this week is David Miaui. David Miaui, I who, like it. He was nominated by cat mum Lola Hillgrove. Now, David Miaui <laughs> was named by Lola's mum, Lois. Okay. And because uh, her idol was David Bowie. Okay, on the screen now, if you're, seeing it, if you're listening on the radio, what I always do with this after the show, I on my Twitter, which is at Peter Cardwell, put up the pictures of David Miaui, and you can see that he's about five years old. David Miaui has asthma, apparently. Yes, so he has to have so an injection every now and again. Yes, uh, but he's perfectly fine, uh, apart from being slightly crazy. And uh, he ends up watching Peaky Blinders on the telly. Apparently it's very good. With, I've never seen it, actually. No, I haven't. With okay. Lola's brother, Richard. So, Wonderful. Uh, Richard is, um, yes. Excellent. Well, another TV show that's very popular is The Traitors. Your and, uh, Yes, it is a really good show. And you were, on your time off, you watched both series, didn't you? I had a week off and binge-watched both, <laughs> both seasons of the UK version. Well, I know, you, uh, I know you love The Traitors now, because you're very wise, but yes. you've also there's now a Lego model of The Traitors. Well, is that the, correct? The, Tell us not about that. yet. Not yet, it's coming, is it? So on Lego Ideas, which is a site that uh, people can upload their favourite... <sighs> Oh, a, a sorry, model. Sorry, there's a website called Lego Ideas yes, because there aren't the, enough bits of Lego. It's run by the Lego company to get ideas for sets. And if you get 10,000 likes of your, your design... Right. They then put it into the next section and they consider and eventually they, they make some of these ideas up. And this is the Lego traitor's table. Uh, with uh, as you with, can with, see with Lego screen. with Lego figures. I yes, mean, including a Lego Claudia. A Lego Claudia. It does have the fringe. That's my question. Uh, I don't know. I didn't. See I, it. I know we shouldn't really talk about our programs on other on other no. stations, but I love the traders. It's so, it's yes. it's so good. Um, yes, the, yes, it does have the fringe. I'm um, just look, looking at here. Excellent. It does have oh, yes, so Claudia's it fringe. That's that's very very important. I mean, what was she hiding? That's what I want to know. Um, know. Anyway, a man is feared. You find another story. You'd say a man is feared to have caught bubonic plague from his cat. Yes. Right, what's going on here? Well, this is bad news for cat owners, I guess. Yes. Uh, the unnamed victim is recovering in hospital. It's not, not great for the owner either if he's got bubonic plague. No. Uh, well, they think he may have been infected by uh, plague-carrying fleas. It's OK. This is not in the UK. Good. Uh, this is in Oregon in the US. <laughs> and, uh, right. It's the first case for eight years. OK, of bubonic plague. Of bubonic I didn't realise bubonic plague was no, still around. Uh, but it can, there's no vaccine, but it can be treated if you catch it early enough with antibiotics. Yeah, a bit, bit better than, you know, many, hun many hundreds of years ago when people had bubonic plague. No. Um, right, I want to talk about a wonderful woman called Sophie Sherrod. Now, this is something which I retweeted. Lots of people saw it, but a lot of people haven't seen it. So if you are listening on talk radio, I want you to switch on your telly now, if you can. Sky 522, Virgin Media 606, Freeview 236, Seven, free sat 217 to see Sophie if you can. I'll, I'll tweet this out again. 
Now, she is someone who has cerebral palsy. She's a big fan of the show, and she said she sent in a lot of nice things over the sort of two and a half years that I've been presenting on this. And for the first time in a year, she's managed to walk. Now, we're going to watch Sophie walking now. This is incredible. So this is Sophie. I'll just narrate it for people who are listening on the radio. This is Sophie, who has cerebral palsy. She's a big fan of the show. She submitted a video online. It's done really well. Mike Graham has tweeted it as well. And Sophie is showing that despite all the challenges that she's had in her life, she's got her, uh, I think it's... Uh, How you doing, uh, ...wheeled walker there, and she's managed to walk. And very, very well done, Sophie. You're a really nice person. You've sent some nice things in about Dave as well. Likes Dave's shirt, I That's think. That's amazing. Yeah, it is. That's she, really cool. It is very... Very, well very done, brilliant that she's done that. So well done, Sophie. You're a great person. Thank you for your loyalty to the show as well. Big, big fan of you. So thank you very, she very much. She may well have tuned out now. She's seen you <laughs> wearing <laughs> that shirt. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I think it's probably time to take, take off the off, shirt. Yes. Take off the shirt because we're going to talk about serious things. But Dave, thank you very, very much indeed. It's great to see you back. Thank you. And uh, thanks for the shirt. I will wear that yes. at... Uh, Edgy's 40th, and I will fit in well with the Hawaiian theme. So indeed. thank you very much indeed. That is Tech Op Dave, a uh, legendary man himself, behind the scenes, works in the show, but also administers Cat of the Week. <laughs> Delighted that Monsieur Dubois is in the uh, studio for us. Hello, sir. Hello, bonjour. Uh, I have to tell you, my Twitter feed has gone mad. I took a photo of you in that oh, ghastly shirt. No, uh, no. And a lot of advice. Uh, I, I announced the death of sartorial elegance on the Peter Cardwell show. I, I think, it, I think it, it died a long time ago. Talk TV's Common Sense Weekend just got remixed. We've added twice as much Cardi P to your TV. Yes, your Sundays now come with added Peter Cardwell. Exclusive interviews, the latest news, and of course, your views. That's Peter Cardwell, every Saturday and now every Sunday, 10 till 1, on Talk TV. If you're thinking about it, we're talking about it. <laughs>